Rev's Ribs joins the Elm Street family of businesses in Youngstown. We have that story on today's Daily Buzz. Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. The owners of Rev's Ribs, a food truck specializing in barbecue with a touch of Puerto Rican cuisine, sees business flourish as they set up shop in a brick and mortar location on the north side. We've, we pretty much nailed it <laughs> as far as having a good blend with the type of meats that we do with the Puerto Rican food. There's nothing here in the evenings that, uh, right. as far as um, uh, restaurants are concerned, at least not up towards this end of YSU. We learn how they're helping to revitalize the Elm Street corridor and take a look at what's on the menu. On the back of the Rev's Ribs trailer, Greg Austin is grilling up slabs of ribs in preparation for the night's dinner. Inside the food trailer, which doubles as a commercial kitchen, his wife Raquel is preparing the side dishes. These are so good. We've been at this here for, for a little while now and it's, and it's coming full circle for us, you know. Lately they've been working out of this concessions trailer, but once the weather cooled down, they decided to move into the Elm Street Diner, owned and operated by Ron Heinbaugh. He works through the day. He does his fabulous breakfasts and lunches and that and mm -hmm. his mac and cheese and his, his carrot cake, which is excellent. And then when he leaves, we transition in. What we like about being here is, you know, it's close to YSU students and it's just a, it's just a nice little uh, home feeling. The Austin started Rev's Ribs working out of the Commonwealth Kitchen Incubator across the street in 2016. They described their menu as the perfect blend of barbecue and Puerto Rican cuisine. Of course we do the barbecue, um, smoked barbecue, we do smoked chicken, smoked turkey ribs, we're doing pulled pork. All that's going on, my wife got the Puerto Rican cuisine end of it. I've incorporated uh, the white rice and the, and the red beans, which are, I could honestly say, a number one seller. We do the uh, pastelillos, which are a meat pie and has the, uh, the ground beef and potatoes in it. Rev's Ribs is open Tuesday through Saturday from 4 to 10 p.m. The Austins say they've been getting positive feedback from customers who would like to see businesses on Elm Street stay open later. Barbecue Place is a perfect restaurant to be open here in this neighborhood in the evenings. Abby Webb is an AmeriCorps VISTA volunteer with Commonwealth Inc., a nonprofit which owns about five buildings on Elm Street. She says Rev's Ribs is the newest addition to revitalization efforts happening there, joining businesses like Culture House Coffee Company, Cultivate Cafe, and Her Primitive Ways. My role is to work with all the businesses to come together and form a business association and do some shared events and planning for how we can build the neighborhood and grow the businesses that are here. Webb says the area will be seeing even more growth in the future with hopes to add more businesses to the corridor. There are also plans to expand the kitchen incubator to accommodate more startups. And, uh, with that revitalization program now that, that's going on and uh, it's changed a lot. There's a lot of little shops here. While the Austins are enjoying using the space here at the Elm Street Diner, they say they've already outgrown it and hope to soon have a place to call their own. When we have a full house here, we have standing room only, <laughs> and then we have people out the door waiting in line. I think we are um, looking down the road here in the near, near future of, um, you know, having our own brick and mortar place. They're also hoping to start bottling their sauce for sale in grocery stores. It's got a southern flair to it. Um, it's got a little heat to it, a little sweetness. Mm -hmm. You can just about put it on, um, on anything on bread. that you, you desire. <laughs> I, we have I, a customer I, that puts it on spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, cool. puts this barbecue <laughs> sauce on spaghetti. And it, because it works just about with anything, I think that's going to be the next <coughs> place for Rev's Ribs. While the Austins are happy with their growth and love the repeat customers, they say they still haven't decided whether they want to stay in a brick and mortar location or hitch up the concessions trailer and hit the road. I guess once the the, the weather changes again, you mm -hmm. know, we'll make a decision at that time. Do we want to be in a in a building or do we do we want to just be the free spirits that we are and continue, you know, in, in the train? <laughs> 717 Credit Union, a community-minded partner to help you succeed. Business loans, business checking, and business money market and certificates. 717 Credit Union, we're a local business too.